We'll be shocked as Peter Obi finally speaks to Nigerians on what, you know, why he moved camp and what he expects from Nigerians. I mean, according to him, he has done his best. He has done what he could do. Remember before he moved, he had a one million man match. And um, on that one million man match, you know, the people that came out, the number of youth all across the country really encouraged him saying that um, he does not have to be in the People Democratic Party, you know, getting the ticket at all means, by all costs, to be able to become Nigerian's president. He showed to him that um, Nigerian youths can back him, come rain, come shine. And of course, for him, the fate is sealed that he is the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. You know, we also saw our very own brother, you know, our very own brother, Dile Mahmoud, said himself and Peter Obi happens to be the two candidates that APC have. Well, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, I am counting on you to beat APC and PDP, Peter Obi tells youth market women. Peter Obi on Wednesday said the ruling of Progressive Congress APC and the People Democratic Party PDP will not win the 2023 elections. He said this while speaking with journalists shortly after meeting with leaders and members of the Labour Party in Abiokuta and Ogun State, the capital. Obi, who recently resigned his membership from the main opposition party, said the People Democratic Party stepped out of fortune and victory following his refusal to zone the presidential ticket to the south to the southern part of the country, speaking through his campaign director, General Dr. Duny Opeko. Obi berated the People Democratic Party for being unrighteous and unjust by jittering the zoning arrangement in the party uh, instigated in the party constitution. According to him, those who op op opposed the zoning the People Democratic Party underestimated the existence of the People Democratic Party and violated the gentleman agreement of the founding fathers of the party. Obi said he is banking on Nigerians' hard work, workforce, youth, market women to beat the APC and the PDP at the 2023 general elections. He said the PDP was a viable party that was put together by our elders and leaders. Those who came yesterday and said rotation does not matter undermine the very essence of the existence of the People Democratic Party. Stepping out of line of fortune of victory because of its become, um, um, so, becoming suddenly selfish and greedy. There is no unrighteousness and unjust pillar that will stand. The People Democratic Party was a good platform, but it has expired when it picked on unjust and untruth to be done, oppressing others. The two parties are out. The two parties have expired. They are not relevant to the new things that Nigeria and Nigerian youth are looking for. Labour Party in the scene of things is very small party, but we are not unaware of, the, of that before we moved here. But the Labour Party is a sleeping giant. The potential electorate reserve of the Labour Party is more than three times members of the APC and PDP put together. And that's why we are calling together the NU, NLT, TUC, Road Transport Union Workers, Market Women, Professional Bodies, Students, of all parts of the country to come together and stand with Labour Party in the forthcoming election to give Nigeria that formidable force. So this is what is happening and you can see for yourself that um, you know the real matter is on ground. People are beginning to stand up and say what is going on in the parties is not acceptable and uh, we should not be allowed or condo. As we speak at this point in time, you know, there are a lot of things going on and why Nigerians cannot afford to dabble between opinions. The time to make the difference and to choose is now. We must choose. You know, why some people are saying to our very own brother, uh, Wiki, to go and contest the result of what just happened. You know, so these are possibilities and other things that are happening and why we all must continue to speak out. OK, against everything and anything that will not move this country forward. I mean, speaking about Peter will be looking at what he has done before. This man, when he served, he served with integrity to a large extent. By the way, we are not saying he's a saint. 
or Peter Obi was one of the persons who served in this country and have the decency of leaving something in the state treasury. He's one of the people who served, and after his service, you know, he, he during his service, he ensured that he encouraged local productivity. He did everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that he did everything that could possibly bring, you know, the state and, you know, uh, the, the people into that participation in governance. So much so that at the end of the day, what has happened has clearly shown to all, you know, that is the man who Nigerians should, you know, support. Honestly speaking, we have men and women of integrity out there who could potentially bring Nigeria out of our present predicament. But what are we doing to ensure we vote in those people? What are we doing to ensure that we do not bring in, you know, the same people over and over again who have not allowed, you know, the country to move forward in any way, form or kind? The best way to allow things to begin to materialize is us taking that decision and rising up for what is good. Okay? It's, 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 it is what it is. So my wonderful people, it is high time we begin to, uh, you know, begin to rise up to the occasion and refuse to allow ourselves to be intimidated. All that is happening and all that is going on are clear indications that Nigeria, we are in that stage, we are in that position again. We are elections around the corner, we are at the crossroad, we are decisions have been made, you know, are, are to be made. And what are we going to do about that decision making? And now what are we going to do to ensure that we pick the best candidate? Could it be Peter Obi? Could it be Tinubu? Could it be the Senate president? Could it be Ahmed Lawa? Could it be, you know, the vice president? Could it be uh, Rocha Okorocha? Uh, uh, I mean, it could be any of those candidates. But we know that, you know, for the People Democratic Party, already chosen candidate is, is you know, is Atiku Abubakar. For Labour Party, the already chosen candidate, you know, is, is Peter Obi. P APC is yet to pick. Other political parties are yet to come together and play. And what we see is that um, even for Labour Party, there are other, you know, political parties. Remember, there are 19 political parties that are taking part in this very said election. So other political parties are pulling their structure together to ensure that they give the, you know, the LP, which is Labour Party, a robust structure, everybody coming together to pick. Okay, a candidate that could potentially, you know, be strong and have, you know, the vote and the support of the people. One of the things Peter Obi is banking on is the fact that people really stood with him on the one million match and hope that that would translate to the vote. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.